<laughs> but whatever it is, guys, just, just, you know, believe that it's possible for you. And that's what I stand here as an example of what is possible for so many people in this room. Because, you know, God didn't just stop with me and, you know, giving me the blessings. It's for every single person in this room. So I want you guys to believe that it's possible. And then the third thing I want you guys to do is create a, a purpose for yourself. You know, we're all put here for a reason again. And um, this opportunity truly allowed me to see what my purpose is. And it's really to just empower other people based on the struggles and the journeys that I've gone through. And, you know, I'm so grateful for this opportunity because again, if it, if it wasn't for this opportunity, I would be working a job just stuck in a job. So we owe it to our families, we owe it to ourselves, and we owe it to God to discover what it is that we are here for and fight for. That's right. You know, I was reading something today to see, just go the extra mile, just go the extra mile. So often we just stop. But you gotta keep going no matter what it is that you want. You have to believe that it's possible. That's right. That's right. So the last thing I want to do, two things, is thank Sam. I always refer to him as my nephew. And that's so unfair. I have to give him an identity. <laughs> Sam, I appreciate you calling up, asking that you that use that basement. <laughs> Even though I, when I saw that email, guys, he sent out an email to promote his business, and I'm thinking, who are all these people that are going to be coming to my house? <laughs> But I thank God for you because he made a decision that impacted us. Right. And we made a decision that's going to impact our families' lives forever. And I'm grateful for you for that. That's right. That's right. So the last thing I want to do is give it up for my husband, guys. And before I do, I just have to say this. I am the luckiest woman out here. It is, <laughs> it is a blessing to be in a household with someone that you love, that you respect, that you trust, that you can be your all with. And this person, he's filled with so much wisdom and knowledge. And I'm lucky because I get to, I get to partake in that all the time. Guys, and what I want you guys to understand is that he loves you and whatever it is I see him sometimes just stress over a situation about a business partner or you know a struggle that a partner is having and he's genuine about wanting to help everyone so we are all so fortunate to be led by a strong black man and I'm just so lucky to call him mine. <laughs> I thank God for him. So guys, please help me welcome the number one senior vice president in this company, all of this company, the seventh platinum senior vice president in five links, Mr. Stan Richards. Awesome. Wow, that was incredible. How do I follow that? Good luck. You know, that's what I say too. I'm lost for words, but let me just say this. First of all, I want to thank God for his grace and for his favor on my life. Because what you see here, guys, it just doesn't add up. You know, you guys pretty much know my story. You know, I grew up very poor in the hood. And I graduated from high school. Bob Smoke, I want you to get this on TV. I graduated from high school in 1981 and was reading on a sixth grade level, okay? But today, I make more money than a brain surgeon. A heart surgeon as well. I went from a bus to a Bentley. Yeah. Bob Smoke, get that on TV. Now, why do I tell my business? Because it's not about me. It's not about money, it's not about cars. It's about how many people I'm gonna bless with this opportunity. 
this incredible opportunity. What you got to understand, guys, is that I'm not on trial anymore. Okay, I proved that this works. Okay, so what I want to do is, first of all, give it up for all my team here. I love my team. I am nothing without Maryland. Let's be clear on that. I want to give it up to our newly promoted uh, Senior Vice President, Mr. Carl Hopper. Okay? I want to give it up to the great co-founders co of this company, and I want to give it up to the team. But let me just tell you guys that change is necessary in the millennium. Okay? I drove a bus for 18 years. I also was a party promoter in D.C., made a lot of money in the 90s. But guess what? It don't count in the millennium. That money is gone. It's probably in some limos somewhere or some bottles, right? That money does not count in the millennium, okay? We in a new day and time, okay? And we got our hands on something so powerful that's changing lives. And the people that understand that is going to make millions of dollars. And it's not about the money. It's about the legacy that we're going to leave for generations to come. This is about my kids as kids who will never realize my struggle as a black man in Washington, D.C. That's what we gotta understand here. My kids as kids will never realize my struggle. See, I thought I had it going on. I was making 100,000, Sharice was making 100,000, and my business, I was making another 150. But guess what? We were broke on a higher level. We were broke on a higher level. And what we need to do in the millennium, we need to be honest with ourselves. And we need change. Change is necessary, okay? And I, like, like I always like to say, you are what you think. And I made a decision. The only difference between me and you to get the Platinum SVP is time. That's it. That's the only difference. I made a decision in 2006 that change was necessary and that I'm going to do something different. I'm going to change the people in my circle, okay? 100,000 heirs think like 100,000 heirs. 30,000 heirs think like 30,000 millionaires think like millionaires. So all I did, I'm the same guy from around the way, I started hanging with millionaires. And once the mind expands, it can't ever go back the same. You guys with me? And you are the sum total that the people that you're in your, in your circle. So that being said, I'm just honored to be here tonight, to, to, to be amongst positive minds, like-minded people who's looking to win on one accord, and we're all family here. And I won't stop, and I tell every business partner in here, I won't stop till all of us are platinum SVPs. What? What? Clear on that. So without any further ado, I'm gonna bring up a gentleman who's one of my mentors, okay, who, we started a tradition here at the Carolina Kitchen in Prince George's County. Okay, and this gentleman has allowed us to come into his restaurant and take it over. Okay, and this guy is just awesome. He's doing some great things in the community. So without any further ado, I want to bring up the owner of the Carolina Kitchen in Prince George's County. If you're looking at this on YouTube and Facebook, you need to get some food from Carolina Kitchen because it is awesome. So without any further ado, let's give it up for my friend, Mr. Lance London. Thank you, sir. Uh, and congratulations to you. Thank you. Congratulations to you as well. Congratulations to you as well. Thank you, sir. How's everybody feel? I'm not feeling it. I'm going to say it again. How's everybody feel? Okay, I'm not feeling it. I want everybody to close their eyes. And right now, I want you to think amongst yourselves that you just opened up the mailbox and they told you that you had a relative that left you, forget a million dollars, but one billion dollars. 